mountain biking in Scotland has never looked so good. We've always had fantastic natural trails. We've always had the right to roam and access to the mountains and the ancient trails that we've always had uh, for hundreds of years. And that was good enough. However, our trail centre game has very much upped. We've got the Mountain Bike World Cup is coming to Scotland this year. Uh, there's been big revisions at Glentress, albeit they're not ready yet, but they will be once the World Cup's been. We've got a whole new trail centre in the form of Tarlin 2 up in Aberdeenshire. Every time I go to Glenlivet, there's a new trail, uh, most recently Kieran's Trail, which is a fantastic, very big bike parky uh, jump trail. And now one that's kind of slipped under the radar, and actually if you're watching this you might not even know about this one, but the Cairngorm Mountain Resort has also added in some trails, uh, with a very unusual way to access them in the form of an outdoor escalator. only takes you about a third of the way up, but this looks like a, a really really good destination for beginners. I have a beginner with me, my girlfriend Alex. Hello, I'm still a beginner. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to try uh, the greens and the blues lower down that are accessed from this escalator and then later on once we've done that we're going to go further up and hit a little bit of the reds and the longer blue trail but so far it looks really really good. Okay so we are here we're going to do blueberry bumblebee. Blueberry. Blue, oh blueberry. Right, onto the hairy caterpillar, so two options for the green that turns into one. Alex is going to lead the way because these are hard trails. Well, I'd say Alex is more a, a blue into red, but uh, start with some green trails. Very sandy. Well, you are a beginner, Alex. You are a beginner. It's all good, these are good though. Yep. Where are you going? <laughs> right, this one's called Golden Dragonfly. We're just going to do a half run here. Just to get it warmed up. Features. Hey. Got a wee jump you can work your way up to there, Alex. Yeah. Let's go. Uh. Okay. okay. Oh, I got the wind there. Woo. Cool. Nice. So after feeling like an absolute hero going up that escalator or whatever you want to call it. Now we've got to use our own power to get up to the higher sections. But uh, should be worth it. We've got a jump line. It's like a blue, but we've got red alternative routes. So the climb's not too bad. There is a proper zigzag route here that you can cycle. But plenty of people are just taking this straight up uh, road to the side. All right, we're going to do. The blue first with Alex, and then I'll come back up and do the red variant. So red off to the right there, more jumpy. Oh, oh, the wind picked right up there. Damn it! Oh, biggins. Oh, that's a massive jump down there. Oh. Gee whiz. I think whoever built this, and I don't know who it is, they've done a pretty good job of uh, catering for everyone. My girlfriend's enjoying this very much still. 
Oh, and there's big jumps here though that are big for me. That's not saying much. Wow. They are so big, I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> okay. That's not bother to hit that. Whoa. Really good. Really good. They're massive, aren't they? Massive. Oh, we've got two options here. Oh, I went for the red, haven't I? Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. It... You can't really see it. Oh. <laughs> no, it's oh, fine. I just thought the trail disappeared. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do the I'll do the blue and I'll come back up. Alright, that's what we're gonna do. Aye. <laughs> that's it. Because right. after it it's big tabletops again, so yeah. eat walk our way up. That's a bit unsupported in. Right, uh, Alex has a head start. She's doing the pedal climb because she's a bit slower than me. But uh, we're going to go to about the mid level. I'm going to try some of those bigger jumps that I kind of bailed out off on the first attempt. But yeah, it's got much busier. It's good to see so many ages and uh, you know abilities here enjoying the same trails so this is working really really well uh, this is just phase one I'm being told and they've got some pretty big plans in the future so if this is phase one and they've built the trails as good as that and they've got some infrastructure with this uh, escalator and whatnot it's looking really really good for well how, however long it takes but phase two should be uh, pretty good Right, time time to hit the red trail with the jumps and stuff. Right, there's no wind at the moment. That doesn't mean it won't gust up at the worst possible time. Whoa. Quite scary, even when you know it's there. Just might need more for that. I'm just going to go back up from here. Yeah! Getting there. Right. Let's try that again. A bit more pull on the bars. Look at this one, it's slightly better, it does kick you and then just way more committed than this, no breaking, just go. Went deep. <laughs> That'll do. Unfortunately the wind has got right up and I'm not sure how comfortable I am doing these bigger jumps in these uh, windier conditions. Right, yesterday got a bit windy and I uh, just wasn't willing to cycle back up to the top knowing that it's very unlikely I'd be doing the jumps because of the wind. It's still quite windy today, the next day, but it's nowhere near as bad and I've also chosen to take the e-bike. I'll definitely be compromising my descents but what I will lose on the descents and the jumps I will gain in getting extra runs in and trail knowledge. Right, that's the red for next time. 
Hey. Didn't manage them yesterday in the one attempt I had. Making progress. Oh, this thing is <laughs> a larger beast. Took a wee minute to get used to it all again. Right, let's have a look at this. It's not massive. But it's definitely not small. Let's give it a bash. Oh, yes. Overshot this last time. Nice. Those two are fine. Relatively small by comparison. Ooh. Right, just straight on to the red here. This is what I managed yesterday. These aren't quite as bad as the top ones, so no problem. Just came up short there. The right line will do later. Woo! Way too deep in that. Do the red on the next run. Whoa! No, not bad, not bad. Could definitely been better, but for a first attempt at my opposite side hip, I'll take it. Whoa. Oh! When I took my run up last time, I was coming in off the red, a more direct route. Uh, more straight and I just never got the berm and that blue route into it that good nice oh the wind is annoying you could get through here without breaking I'm just not being very good at the moment I haven't jumped that yet. Next time. I can feel the wind there. And now. <laughs> wide in this one. It's probably the worst corner on the whole hill. I don't think I'll be wall riding that. rather than hiking up and coming down because it is a pre Oh, you've not got just to pay for this? No, it's a whole thing, so because it's a pre -made. Right, well, we'll end the video there because I just got in trouble for using the trails without paying. Uh, I genuinely believe that I only had to pay for the uplift. I can't think of any other place in Scotland where you have to pay just to use the trails. Um, but then when I think about it a bit more, it makes perfect sense. They spent a lot of money there. I'm obviously doing it for free, wearing the trails down. Um, but when the uplift only goes like a quarter to a third of the way up, yeah. I spent all the money yesterday. I've done all the trails yesterday. I've done two runs today. That'll do me. I'm not going to pay to just go and do another one or two runs because we've got other things to do. Anyway, um, what a fantastic facility. This place is really, really busy. 
yesterday we seen so many people using these trails from tiny little kids uh, on hire bikes, they've got hire bikes for all sizes. Um, yeah, tiny little kids, experienced riders. We had people who clearly just took their old 90s mountain bikes out of their cars they were using just to, to tour around Aviemore or whatever, and they were giving it a go. So it really uh, is genuinely one of the best examples I've seen of a place that's opening up mountain biking to everyone and opening up mountain biking to people who hadn't considered mountain biking before so fantastic facility really well built trails there's not much here just now but what is here is really good and I'm very very excited for phase two uh, especially getting a uplift to the top and obviously I will have no qualms with paying the money for that uh, I'll put the prices on the screen uh, for the uplift and for the access to these trails but it's very very reasonable given all the facilities that they have nearby you've obviously got coffee shops and uh, you've got the tubing and the kids play area and all these kind of things here as well so uh, family place excellent uh, even for more advanced riders excellent I never done all the features yet um, but I'll come back in the future we'll do more